A couple of people who've been following this project have asked to know a little bit about the difference between the Generation 1 and the Generation 2. So first of all, the wiring on the sense leads appears to be somewhat different. I haven't actually gone in and found what the pin differences are. I think there's people like maybe Wolftronics have done that. But here is a buzz bar from the Gen 2 batteries. And then what I've got fitted to the actual batteries in the pack is the Gen 1 buzz bar. And you can see things like where the, um, where the power comes out is different. So this one is on third from top. This one is on top. Um, so there's little differences like that. Um, across the back here, the Generation 2 battery has got this girder running across the back here, which would have come all the way out to here and linked onto that. Now we're using the Generation 1 bus bars, and so basically that would have made a great big short over there. So we've sawn it off here, just literally with a hacksaw. Same at the other end, obviously we took the, the plate off the batteries before getting a hacksaw anywhere near it. Um, so that's, that's about the only physical mod, is we had to saw, saw this down. Um, <clears throat> other than that, you know, we put the buzz bars across, the cables are all very beautifully held in. So I'll show you on the Generation 2 because it's kicking about, but all the sense leads, they're all held in on plastic connectors, really beautifully insulated. You know, it's, it's relatively safe in here. All of the high voltage stuff is covered. Now you have to unclip, I'm not going to do it, you have to unclip and hinge all of these. You know, that even though we've got the cover off, it's still pretty good. Right, the last thing before I get waffling too much is the actual difference between the cells. So here you can see the Gen 2 cells. So this, well, modules I should say, and it's quite open, quite exposed. Inside of that are two in series, two in parallel cells. There's quite a few places where people have ripped them open to show you what's inside. Try looking for endless on endless sphere forums, for example. By contrast, here is a Gen 1 module. So it's solid. It's like a baked bean can, or a sardine can, I think I've heard it called. So this one is a lot, seems to be a lot better sealed, although it's still not actually sealed. And so you could, you know, if you get something in there, it's going to be harder to come out. At least with this, if you get something in it, it comes straight out the other side. Dimensionally, they appear to be pretty much identical. So if I hold that over it, the light isn't really good enough for you to see, but the bolt holes line up over it. And so, yeah, I've been able to put these in, put the Generation 1 buzz bars on the Generation 2 cells and get it all in perfectly well. I've left the structure holding the Generation 2 cells together. That just goes straight into the Generation 1 case, so I haven't felt the need to dismantle that. Why, why do extra it when you have to? Um, so that's basically it. The very similar, slightly different sense wiring on the Generation Two. Different buzz bar configurations, but only subtly. Um, and then the cell cases are slightly different. But yeah, subtle evolution. You can see some clear improvements, um, and you can see some other bits that you're like, well, I don't really understand that. So I hope I have given you some good information about what is inside of the Generation 2 and the Generation 1 batteries. If you want more details, just ask me. I'll do my best to answer. Right then, let's get assembling this and seeing if the car likes it.